even drive by that place without getting sick to my stomach. Sander Furrier's father died last year at Melrose Wakefield Hospital after weeks of medical complications. And she says the hospital failed, that his life should have been saved. I, I thought my father was protected. I really thought that they couldn't not do anything because of those forms. The Medical Orders for Life-Sustaining Treatments, or MOLST form, was filled out at a rehabilitation hospital stating Furrier's father, Arthur Fairfield, should be put on life support if needed. And after complications at the rehab, Fairfield went to the hospital, where he coded in the emergency room and was resuscitated. And uh, he was on support for four days. Eventually, he was taken off the machines, and Furrier says she thought he was on the road to recovery. But a little over a week later, a similar situation would play out differently. Furrier left her father's sign, asking the nursing staff to call her if her father's condition changed. Nobody called me till after he was gone. And Furrier says the nurse who spoke to her on the phone regarding her father's death said this time the hospital did nothing to resuscitate him. I said, what do you mean no? She, I said, why didn't, why didn't you help him? She said, because of the DNR. And I started screaming, what DNR? I didn't sign the DNR. I'm my dad's health care proxy and his power of attorney. Only I could have done that. Who did it? For years, says she spoke with hospital staff regarding her father's condition at one point, but she claims she never revoked the most form nor signed a do not resuscitate form. However, a hospital spokesman says in a statement, a conversation regarding Furrier's wishes for a DNR request is documented, but he declined to provide the medical record. They also say the nurse practitioner involved in the case is still employed in good standing. The hospital? I absolutely blame the hospital. Furrier says her and her sisters were robbed of the final precious moments of her father's life. And go down and told them that we loved him and said goodbye. And they've robbed us of that. And now she carries him with her. His ashes are in her necklace. And she's demanding answers and accountability. The hospital sent her a letter last August apologizing for the misunderstanding and wrote it's making improvements to its procedures. And we know the state's board of registration, which licenses nurses, is looking into the matter. But no other state entity is. Furrier says her mission is to make sure it never happens again. If we end up hospitalized, who's going to protect us? Erica Mora, The Boston Herald.